Good evening, welcome to my weekly live. I am Emma Goddard and you will find me at coastalcrafter.com. Welcome if you're on um, Facebook. Hi Joanna, welcome if you are on YouTube. How are you all doing? Um, fresh grid sheet needed. I have not prepared my desk. Um, let me pop that out of the way. I was busy scheduling um, and planning. I've got my diary of bits and pieces here. Scheduling, I was busy scheduling events and classes and planning and sorting out for all the fun things that are going to be happening next year. So um, time for some creative time. My brain is whirling with the thoughts of events and classes and things. So I can do a bit of colouring now. Good evening. Hello, hello. Hey, Jacqueline. Hey, Kathleen. Welcome, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. So I um, have pulled out. I was like, do I, I, I this time of year? I'm never sure whether to continue with Christmas theme things. And so I've kind of like I'm, I'm I'm done with my Christmas cards now. So we've moved on to new stuff. So I have got on my desk the decorative border um stamp set this was um was this uh it was in our packs for on stage so yes it's a pretty one just got back in time hey karen hey hazel debbie evening you're right um i have got my festive penguin mug it's, I say mine it's Joshua's but um it's too cute so I thought I'd have to uh have a borrow of it isn't it sweet so, um, right let's get making um let me get my camera I was not that organized uh Anna, da, 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 Diane is in New Zealand. Good, good evening. Uh, right, let's do desk view. Here we go. Right, let's get you in view. So, as I say, this is the stamp set. It's called Decorative Borders really pretty there aren't dies for this um but i think this could make some really pretty kind of wreaths or backgrounds or layers so um let's have a play um and make a couple of cards with this one the images are um 85 on the front there um so they are actually bigger um in in real life like that one there. It's quite a bit bigger. I'm not sure how much you can see that. I'm going to start with just the simple leaf one. And let's go oh, with that one. And we'll zoom in. Good evening. So um, we're playing with this new set. It's um, 10 stamps in here. Um, what should we colour with? Should we colour with um, pencils or blends? What do we reckon? Uh, Tempted pencils, maybe. This is just memento. I'm going to grab the stitched dies. Katie says pencils. I think it's a good show. And I'm going to pop this stitched die. 
over the top and we'll cut that out. So I know I've got enough of that image. Let's just run that through. Mm. Uh. So I just keep my pencils in like a little um, tub. Um, and you in a bit closer. And try not to cast too much of a shadow. You can see what I'm doing. Let's go. Old olive. Um, Nice images for colouring. I could make these into a couple of thank you cards because I sent to my card in a couple um, membership group on Friday. Um, we made a thank you card then, and I think um, kind of this is the time of year that you might. Um, want to have some thank you cards on hand um, it's nice to have them at any time but particularly kind of after Christmas and things like that you might want to have some to send um, alternatively you could pop a birthday sentiment on if you've got lots of January birthdays and then it gets you started So just simply just stamped five in a row and um, then colouring them with the uh, old olive. Oh, hey, Liz. Um, uh, the pencils will allow you to, to add more shading with more pressure. Um, so you can come back in and add, if you press more fir like firmer, then you'll get that shading at the bottom of those leaves, which is nice. I have to say, I did treat myself to a new pack of pencils because my melon mambo and my daffodil of light in particular were getting really tiny. I still do have them. Um, I will use them, um, but I treated myself to a new set of Full size pencils again. <laughs> uh, I've had them a long time. So we can add a little, oh, oh, add some flowers to this, I think. Um, the reason I cut it out first as well is so you're not colouring bits of the image that are then not going to be used as well. Um, Hazel says me too. I oh, know it's nice to have a an extra extra set. <laughs> And of course, they do the the set one and set two, and that's nice because it's got gives you a bigger range of colours as well. Okay, I think we're nearly there. Let's add a few flowers. So there are a couple of choices in this set that are um, flowers in. This is 
flowers here. There's a little one on its own. There's that's a sort of a bigger one. Um, maybe this bit here, but I think I'm gonna go for this one. Um and like these little buds, and then we'll we'll cut some of them out. Oh, a nice long stamp. I'm going to use this is my eye blocks. <laughs> so this is a spare set, both sets, just in case. Just in case, we've got one set for the for the craft area and one for travelling out and about, maybe. <laughs> Focusing on this middle section because actually it's only the flowers that we want. So um, I want just a couple of those. Maybe three. That gives us enough, doesn't it? Okay. What colours shall we do? Should we do let's get pinks and yellows and orange? Maybe purple for a change. Have all of them, can we? Nice bright colours. Evening, Emma. Mm. Okay. Daffodil Delight. Um, I do love a yellow. Um, purple. So this is gorgeous grape. It's a sharp So we'll go melon mambo. And then we'll maybe have coordinating little buds. Uh, I just got in from being taxi for my son and his drunken mate. Ah, uh, honey. That's funny. On their way home or on their way out, Claire? Uh, right. So we've got our flowers. Let's chop them out. So we will snip those. And just thinking about the thanks or thank you um, that you could maybe put on this. So stamp sets that I have pulled out, thinking about thank yous, um, was the biggest wish, because that's got lovely, big, bold thanks in it. Um, and set the sending smiles stamp set, because that's got sending and then it pairs up with the words, um, um, just a, a note of thanks is what it says, which is nice. Um, the other thought I had was the dies, because there is a thank you die. This is very tiny, tiny, tiny. Um, you might want to stick to the bigger flowers if um, more intricate cutting is not your thing. These ones are not too bad to cut out. Those other ones are a bit fiddly, even if I do say so myself. 
And for those who are with me regularly, you know how much I love a bit of fussy cutting. Um, but even for me, that's a little bit, a little bit teeny tiny. Let's put, it's easier with a bigger piece of card holding onto it. There we go. And this one. <laughs> one of them I'd never met tap me on the head to say thanks. <laughs> I came from the pretty. Ah, oh, I see. I see. I see. Day drinking. Yeah, <laughs> all good fun. Ah, uh, uh, hey Maggie. Um, pencils. I am using Stampin' Up watercolor pencils, and so um, they come in a uh, set one and a set two. So this is Melon Mambo Daffodil Delight Gorgeous Grape. So watercolor pencils. Um, and on the leaves, I've used Old Olive. But they're lovely for colouring, even if you don't use the water with them. Nice. Vibrant colours. So we've got our flowers to pop onto here. I think we can have that little oh. mix and match them. Cute. Do something with them in a minute once we've got the uh, thanks now. Just the thanks there, or as I say, sending and then a note of thanks. I'm tempted to go with the sending. <laughs> They're tiny, tiny, tiny cutting. I know, fussy, fussy cutting. Mm. Christmas adventures. It's a zoo out here. Oh, I bet it's chaos. I bet it's absolute chaos. Weekend before Christmas. Good. Um, there. So this sending has dies, so I will find them in a second. And in fact, I'll find them now because then I can move that out so it doesn't glare. Um, let me find the sending. Um, that'll make an easy, easy work of cutting out those words. On my job for today was sorting out my dies and adding the new ones in and things like that. And I haven't, I didn't get around to it. I, I was busy making. I was busy making cards. So. Uh, okay. Right, let's. Shall we stamp this in black? Um, or we could go for a colour. Hmm. Might do melon mambo. Uh, so that will die cut out. And then we'll do a note of thanks in the memento. Oh, that's wibbly wobbly, isn't it? Thing is with photopolymer, when you're putting it on your stamp, you can end up doing things like this to it. And it's a good thing because you can manipulate it to be um, curved if you want it to be. But if you don't want it to be curved, then it's not such a good thing. So if you let it drop on your desk and then pick it up, you know that you're going to get um, a straight um, sentiment then. Right, I will just die cut that out. 
So I'll just pop that through. When I was crafting this afternoon, I was trying to I couldn't decide on a Christmas movie, so I ended up watching Paddington, um, which is lovely, isn't it? I so love that film. Uh, let's get few more Christmassy movies lined up. So, right, sending a note of thanks. Let's pop that on there in a minute. We'll do um, maybe like a twist of pink just to go. So I'm going to measure this square. Let's pop them there. So this is two and three quarter inches square so if i do two and seven eighths in inches two and seven eighths then it's just slightly bigger you can kind of twist and get a little pop of that color from behind um Do. I'll cut a white background. I've got our sending a note of thanks, and then we've got some flowers. Let's pop that one over there. sit down there it's kind of kind of cool I think simple that's the one Joe I was trying to think of the name of that one Christmas Chronicles I love that love that movie they are on my list to rewatch all of those we watched Elf um, the other week Um, yeah, Christmas Chronicles. Uh, right, do we need something on the background? Maybe just actually keeping it nice and simple is kind of kind of like that. Um, uh, only thing we could do maybe is stamp some of these grey move that all out of place stick that down in a minute um let's do a little background <laughs> simple no 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 i am going to keep it simple i promise <laughs> So we'll see. Oh, I didn't want grey granite. I didn't want grey granite. I wanted smoky slate. Mm -hmm. I'm going to stamp off. And stamp that down the middle. These are brilliant backgroundy type stamps. So 
just gives a little bit of texture coming out from the sides. I might go, no, I think that's enough actually. I don't know whether to go one more. I might go one more. Okay, shall I stamp off? Okay, there. Then it can go slightly above middle. And I'll bring that there. Happy with that. Let's um, stick that into place. So um, let's do. I'll reposition those flowers for a third time. Uh, let's do dimensionals on here. Um, so last week I made um, cards using the thistle, the new thistle that's going to be coming out, beautiful thistle. Um, and I have got another card using the thistle going out on my blog tomorrow morning. So if you like that stamp set, do check out my blog. It's for the Global Design Project Challenge, which is going to be a sketch tomorrow. Um, so I won't spoil the surprise, but um, it, it's actually quite a simple card. All stamping and not no colouring, actually. Right, let's, I've got that going, it's not very straight on camera because my camera's not straight, but, so I've kept this square straight with the tilt on the Melon Mambo. And then we can pop on, I think I'm gonna dimensional. Mini dimensionals are perfect for this sending sentiment. Just gonna put on that bit. Maybe on the N as well, just there. Sending. Looks like a piece of designer paper now, that background, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, and let's do. It's such it's such a pretty set. Um, right, a note of thanks. Put that in there, and then we can do our flowers. The flowers are so tiny. I know they are. If you don't, you wouldn't necessarily need to cut those tiny, teeny, tiny flowers you could just stick to these ones which would be more than enough um but yes I am slightly crazy and yes I did cut those teeny tiny they look like little tulip heads don't they love a challenge there is they're as tiny as a glue dot <laughs> they literally just cover the glue dot that's how tiny they are. Uh, crazy. Uh, I've had those flowers in three different places. I'm sure if I was to watch this back, they're not in any of the same places, but that's fine. There, let's put some little gems on, shall we? Let's see what I've got in my stash. Um, so new gems coming out are these beauties, opaque adhesive backed gems. Did you spot these for those that are able to order? Um, demonstrators can pre-order in December. The catalogue goes live on the 5th of January. Um, so if you haven't got a catalogue and you would like one, you don't have a demonstrator, the sales period is 5th of January for this one. So it's a January, April catalogue. So this is the one that will be coming out. Lots of beautiful new things in here. 
Um, and of course, celebration starts January the 5th as well through till the end of February. Um, and there's some fab stuff in there and some cute stuff in there as well. Um, but these are called opaque adhesive back gems. So three sizes and you're getting 240 items or gems. Let me start on the edge. Mm -hmm. A few of those. Kind of look like little purple buds then, don't they? Quite like that. There. Yeah. <laughs> your favourite. I wonder why. Could they be because they match your hair and nails, Becky? <laughs> I wonder why. They are beautiful colours. Um, there. Do I don't think we need much else, do we? Let's put that on. I think um, I'm going to go white. I am going to go classic. Let's go white base. Although melon mambo base would work well. That could pop really nicely. Um, but let's do white and just show you um, that. Oh, thanks, Liz. Hope you're feeling better. There's lots of lurgy going around, hasn't there? Uh, oh, goodness. All right, ten and a half. So 14.8 um, I cut my base to and then scored at ten and a half. Um, and then that is white on white. A little bit of fussy cutting, but for a stamp set that doesn't have dies, not loads, and you've still got that beautiful background. So sending a note of thanks. Um, you could leave it blank. You could have the sending and then leave this bit blank until you know if you want to send them. So you could put um, any of these matching sentiments. This one's in the annual catalogue. So comfort and strength, note of thanks, birthday wishes. You can then make it up when you're ready to send. The floral part is a new one coming called decorative borders um so we've made use of this leaf here and then the flowers from this one is what we've then paired up on there and then this background is this floral in smoky slate just stamped off so super pretty flowers um, right, to make a second. Um, which one shall we use? Mm -mm -mm. Very mirror. Do a bit of a wreath. We could stamp round. <clears throat> this one's got a bit of a curve. Uh, oh, I think it is. Okay, so the photopolymer has got a bit of give in it. You don't I mean you don't want to tear it, but it has a little bit of give in it. So I'm going to just try and manipulate that ground as I put that onto the block rather than put it really kind of let it open out which is much longer I'm gonna try and kind of pull it so that it's at its curviest <laughs> I'm just gonna open that out a bit more so I've got more of an arch than we would have had we left it flat um, right. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
going to stamp in memento again just to see how this goes. See what the curve on this is like. See if it pulls together. That's not bad actually. Not bad at all. Pretty rubbish stamping, but pretty good circle. I'm very happy with that. Shall we stamp it in birthmark or shall we blend colour? Choices, choices. I'm thinking blends, but I'll stamp better. Let me do, um, let me stamp it again on a proper base. So. Also, what would be helpful is a mat. So I'm going to get that. Um, these pierce mats are not in the um, catalogue, but they are still available online. And um, if you haven't got one of these, I would recommend them. Um, because when you're stamping with photopolymer, you don't have, and the red rubber, you've got the cushion between the stamp and the block. Whereas on um, photopolymer, it's great that you can see through, but you don't have that cushioning. Oh, I'm making a mess of that. I'm not leaving over it. Any chances that I'm going to get this line back up? Slim to... Oh. Oh, it's got a bit of shadowing. Not bad. But... <laughs> right, I'll stop talking for a minute and I'll just stamp. And, uh, pretty love it gorgeous right let's do Blends, as we, or should we watercolour pencils or blends? What do you reckon? Should we do blends for a change? Um, so he says pencils again. I'm more than happy to do pencils because they're on my desk. Let's keep it. Let's keep it pencils tonight. And then we've got two cards that are both with the uh, watercolour pencils. Okay, um, I'm going to use Granny Apple Green, and I might just give that a sharpen. work with a sharper pencil. Might do half and half. Shall we do pencil leaves and then blend flowers? How about that? Got an idea with the flowers that will maybe mix the blends better. Nice and bright. I've got join on my desk there. I re um recovered my desk, so I've got I've put a join right across my work area, which wasn't very clever. Um, I need to use a bit more of a mat, I think. My 
other one had completely, well, it got in a bit of a state. So I freshened it up the other day. Right, let's add some green swooshes. with that. Um, so, uh, so I wish they'd release more colours and pencils. Yes, me too. Although I'm not sure which colours I'm missing. Like, I don't know. I, I would love the ink colours in pencils. Like Orchid Oasis, Starry Sky, Soft Succulent. You know, that would be lovely. Um, it's raining now, Melissa. So we've gone up. We've we've warmed up a little bit. Um, so where I am, there wasn't. There was. It was very icy and cold, but but no snow. It snowed a little. It was like it was threatening, but nothing. Nothing much. Um, Definitely not, um, definitely not enough to build a snowman, <laughs> that's for sure. Uh, okay. So this is polished pink. Predictable for flowers, I know. But I'm going to mix it a little bit with the daffodil delight. If you put your light colour down first and then add your dark, you have to go back with the light, I think, to blend it in. Whereas if you go dark first and then add the light, you don't always have to go back a third time. You can blend it out. But there's definitely no hard and fast rule and I chop and change all the time as to how I kind of colour depending on the images or the size or the day of the week. <laughs> uh, right. I'm going to go more pink on this one. like real crafting weather today um, windy and rainy and just been tucked in it's nice I've still got a bit of Christmas shopping to do but I really didn't want to go out week for that <laughs> I think okay we're nearly there has anyone else got this stamp set and inked it up there's a new one 
So it'll be demonstrators who have it. Um, of course, you can always join and add it. Um, and that's one of the perks of being a demonstrator of getting your hands on these things early. But this one's available 5th of January. Okay, we have a wreath. It's pretty. It's on your list, Sue. Isn't it lovely? Uh, right, we just need to think about sentiment. Uh, mm, and whether I cut it out and die cut or cut and lift it up. But I think I'm going to leave it flat. The sending feels a little big, but it might go across the middle. Okay. Um, and then, yeah, let's do that. And if we do the same, if I go polish pink rather than melon mambo, that'll be a more coordinated pink. I love these big words. The sending's lovely. I've used this loads. There. We've got our sending and then um, in the sending set actually there's a couple of these little dies um so you've got the dies to cut out the flowers and things in this one but it's got the big sending and then these little banners which are great as well but i might cut just a couple of them to accent um Just colour with the blends. And then just pop that on and um, then I'll come back and do the sentiment. So we'll think about uh, Susan says, morning Emma, I can't believe I'm catching you live. Uh, weather here is miserable, not warm and sunny at all. Ah. Uh, um, it must be still early with you. It's early, early in the morning. Uh, oh. Two of those flowers. drop out sometimes it does there <laughs> there we go Let's put the die back somewhere safe and then um they're cute aren't they those little flowers um sending what we're gonna send birthday wishes this time let's do stock up on some of our birthday Mm. Birthday wishes. Just stamp in memento. And I'll chop that out. Um, the dies for this are perfect. They've got like little banner dies, so cutting out is not your thing. Then those banner dies are perfect. I kind of want to match the other card with the smaller sentiment chopped. So go there. And then these little ones, I'm going to blue dot if I can. 
find that. One, two, I'll just use three. There are those. Some sort of twine or something, I think. Um, how about some of this? So this is, it's not um, granny. This is granny apple pencil, but this is parakeet party, but it's um, nice and bright. So we're good. They'll go well. Let's have a bit of that. Uh, I think you just started up. Looking forward to seeing the sun. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed it makes an appearance. Uh, evening, Lynn and Michaela and Jenny. Hello, hello. Um, right, let's get this on dimensionals. Hope you're all doing well. There's been lots of lurgies going around. I know lots of people have been struggling with it. I was down and out with it the other week. Um, my son's not been too well the week before me, so I don't know. Just lots of lots of winter bugs. Um, they've been not very nice. Okay, let's have that. that on there with a bit of glue dot let's put our sending going across the center whoops oh let's try and get it straight whoops oh, right in the wrong place with that right let's try again let's go <laughs> on like that center there better 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 uh try not to over press the dimensionals down until i'm absolutely certain and then there is a chance of being able to pull them back up because you know it doesn't always go right first time does it uh oh, my hotel room, lovely. Yes, the daughter's got paper. Oh no. Oh, so many. I know, rubbish. In fact, she's not too bad with it, Karen. Right, let's put that on there. Okay, I've got our extra little flowers. Let's get these off. One of those. These are from the sending dies. They're kind of mixing and matching those. And then let's bring in our gems again. So we have these beautiful adhesive gems. I'm going to use the Man and Mambo. Oh, we could go smaller than that, actually. That's a bit big. Let's go for the teeny tiny ones. They are perfect. Look at that. I wonder if the white might look nicer. Let's go white. I think I prefer the white. I'll hook that. Let's not waste that dot. Oh, that one might be staying there. It's like, leave me alone. I was very happy on that flower and now you pulled me off. No. Teeny tiny, teeny teeny tiny. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> I just think I was going to go that bad. <laughs> yeah, but that far away. Are you in Horsham? Oh, very nice. Not far from me. Not far. Um, there we go. So let's put um this on should we oh 
colour base shall we do? Should we have a pink base for this one? Have a pop of colour, shall we? I think so. Let's do. Now I've got a random bit of melon mamba on my desk and I'm hoping it will cut me a card base. So, ten and a half. So I have got lots and lots. I've been planning today. I've had my diary out and I've been planning my classes and events and all of that kind of stuff, team events, class events, online events, all of that kind of stuff um, for the new year. And I'm going to be sending out information in my newsletter. If you are not subscribed to my newsletter, then head on over to my blog and you will see a, see a sign up form. And you can choose to subscribe to that. And I will be sending out not only class details, but I'll be sending out close-up photos of these cards that I've made on my Facebook uh, YouTube lives um, with extra details um, and as I say any kind of upcoming offers or classes will be through my newsletter um, first so um, if you want to hear about that then please do go and sign up um, there you go so that's parakeet party twine granny apple uh, pencils and then daffodil delight and melon man uh, polished pink blends um so using the decorative borders we've made these two cards this evening there you go both with ascending both with a pink fresh kind of vibe um and hopefully has inspired you um, maybe add this stamp set to your list if it wasn't already on it um, I hope you've enjoyed those and um, there will be um, as I say um, information about my upcoming classes coming out on my blog and in my newsletter um, I won't be back um, where are we get that going there we go. Um, I won't be back next Sunday because next Sunday is Christmas. Uh, are we ready? <laughs> are we ready for Christmas? I can't believe it's nearly here. Um, so um, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful um, week and a wonderful Christmas. Um, I wish you all the very best. Thank you so much for joining me over this um, year. Um, and I will see you um, on my next live um, in 2023. Um, have a wonderful rest of your um, week and I will see you after Christmas. Take care everyone and I'll see you soon. Bye.